this video lecture we're going to talk about the hydrolysis of polyamides now a uh, hydrolysis the term hydrolysis means it's breakdown uh, of uh, or decomposition or decomposition by the addition of water so by adding water now uh, polyamides were formed from monomers and uh, for example this uh, is one example that we did uh, for nylon and kevlar a polyamide consists of a diamine and a dicarboxylic acid monomer and they're going to join together they're going to form the polyamide and the reverse hydrolysis is the exact reverse where you, where you have a polyamide and you break that polyamide back into its monomers so we're going to start with this example that we have already done uh, which is that uh, we're going to first look how a polyamide was formed initially. So uh, you had two monomers, one was a diamine and one was a dicarboxylic acid and uh, they were arranged uh, one after the other. You had a dicarboxylic acid followed by a diamine, then another dicarboxylic acid, then another diamine and the chain would continue and they would join together. That was called condensation. In condensation, the OH and the H got removed and they produced water. So the hydrogen from amine, the OH from carboxylic acid. OH from carboxylic acid, hydrogen from amine and so on and so forth. And they ended up uh, joining together forming a polyamide. So I'm going to remove the these H and OH groups. Uh, they ended up forming H2O. So they ended up forming is two so I'm getting rid of them and this N would join with the C over there the C would join with the N over there and so the linkages would continue and all of these were amide linkages so this was your polyamide now our task is to break this polyamide back that is called hydrolysis and when you when you are uh, talking about hydrolysis you have a polyamide chain you're going to look at the amide linkages and remember remember how the amide linkages were formed now when you're breaking them when you're hydrolyzing them you're going to add water back to this amide linkage and this would hydrolyze it so water would be added back to decompose a polyamide and when you add water back again, what would happen is that the amide linkages are going to break in exactly the same way as they were formed. So get rid of these amide linkages. So you're going to get these individual monomers back again. They would no longer be linked together. And you add uh, OH to the carboxylic acid and H to the amine. So water is added back again, OH to the carboxylic acid and H back to the amine group. H to the amine group and OH to the carboxylic acid and so on. So all the linkages have been broken and you have been able to uh, you have gotten the monomers back again so you added water back into the amide linkages and you decompose the polyamide breaking it down into the smaller tinier monomers back again let's do another example we already constructed this polyamide chain so this is a polyamide chain where you can see these nh and c double bond o groups the c double bond o next to nh another nh next to c double bond o so you have this have this polyamide chain which is continuing and uh, we need to decompose it we need to hydrolyze it so we're going to add water back into it and so i'm going to add water back into the amide linkages and when i do that the amide linkages are going to break so let's get rid of the amide linkages so we're getting rid of the amide linkages and remember to add H to amine and OH to carboxylic acid. So OH next to carboxylic, the cedal bond O, H goes with amine. OH with the carboxylic acid cedal bond O, H goes with amine, H with amine and OH with carboxylic acid. So, you, so you're going to get your monomers back again and this is hydrolysis of this long chain that we just did. Now let's try and hydrolyze this protein chain that we made 
as well uh, when we're studying protein. So this is your acetyl mono NH amide linkages. Acetyl mono NH, you have these amide linkages and you need to hydrolyze it. You need to get water back into those amide linkages and you, you need to decompose that. So get rid of the amide linkages. See, break the bonds between acetyl bondo and NH. And once you break them, you add water back into the amide linkages. So OH with the acetyl bondo, making it a carboxylic acid. H goes with amine. H goes with amine and OH goes with the carboxylic acid acetyl bond O. H goes with amine. This OH goes with carboxylic acid, H with amine and OH with the carboxylic acid. So you're going to get your monomers back again once you hydrolyze this. So proteins were made from amino acid. This is one amino acid, another one, another one, and this is the fourth one. So you've gotten your amino acids back again. Now let's do this final example. I have a polyamide chain. I can identify this polyamide chain by looking at these amide linkages. There's another amide linkage over here. There's another amide linkage over here. And one more over here. So this is a, a polyamide chain that's continuing. And I need to hydrolyze it. I need to decompose it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break all the amide links. So this is one amide link. I'm going to get rid of this amide link over here. I'm going to get rid of this amide link over here and I'm going to add water back into it. So hydrolysis of polyamide is occurring. This amide link is going to break. Uh, get rid of this amide link as well. So, so I'm getting rid of all the amide links. Now, now firstly, I'm going to look at uh, this molecule over here. So this is benzene. So no need to go into details with benzene. It's just a structure, a complicated structure that you go, that you that you will be studying in A levels. But uh, this is the residue that you have once the amide is broken. And remember what I told you: the H goes with amine. So add H back again. So the amine is formed back again. This is your second monomer residue. So it has two CH2 groups and then th there is a C double bond O group and I've broken the amide link and remember OH goes with the C double bond O so you get your carboxylic acid back again. So, so this is one of your monomers and this is the other monomers and you've been able to decompose this polyamide, you've broken all the amide linkages and you've gotten the individual monomers back again. Lastly, we're going to study the conditions needed for hydrolysis. Generally, uh, dilute alkali or acid plus heat would be sufficient to break down a polyamide. Uh, you can use if you if you if you're breaking down proteins into their individual amino acids, you can use concentrated HCl as well.